Well, how y'all are this afternoon? It's your buddy George Jones over here at the Burger and Gun Range with my next installment on, hey, I got this old used gun. And the old used gun today I got is a humdinger. The ROM RG Model 40. Now, the Model 40 is a full-size two-inch barrel, and they also made this in four. Uh inch barrel, alloy frame, economy designed, economy priced, German made, uh, 38 special revolver. The Rom Schickel Bluger, whatever you want to call a Gugger company from Germany, they went in business in the 1950s. They were a machine and tool design company and they went into the economy gun market in the 1950s and they stayed in business all the way up to 1988 or 9 and finally went under the gun part of it went under and they sold out to a company you may know Umarex and uh, but they made some pretty fair guns over the years and they made some pretty crappy guns um, RG made everything from 22 crimp blank blank pistols uh, all the way up to a design similar to this in 44 Magnum and 357 Magnum. Uh, they made cool little single action, um, uh, single action Western style revolvers in 22 and 22 Magnum convertible and 32 long and 38 special. Uh, they made little 22 caliber pocket revolvers. Um, they made a couple of 22 Magnum pocket revolvers that you've seen them on here before. I mean, I've got several reviews of, of RGs. So we're going to try this guy and see how it works. This is the Model 40. Now, it has a latch up here, and you can push that latch, and it just like a Smith & Wesson revolver, you know, you can hit the latch and kind of knock it out. It is uh, double action. It has hammer rebound. So when it fires and you let go of the trigger, the hammer rebound, and it seems to lock up pretty good. Now it's got old cheap plastic grips on it that are of the phenolic type that uh, use uh, uh, a solvent in the resin. And as the solvent evaporates over the years, the grips shrink up a little bit. Mm. You see these a lot with tape on them, not because the grips are busted, but because they're rattly, because they shrank. It's a six shot, got to eject. It's just a, it's just a base, base design of a, of a um, two inch, six shot, 38 caliber revolver. Nothing more on it than it needs and nothing less on it than it needs. Got a pretty rudimentary sight and gutter sight in the back, just milled in or cast into the receiver. Um, front sight was a little iffy on my old eyes, so last night before I brought it over here, I put a little orange paint on it, help it out a little bit, help me out a little bit anyway. Well, let's get some mufflers on here and give us old gun at the doubtful range of 25 yards a chance to hit something. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's try one on single action. Right into the sun again. Nothing. Nothing. Maybe too far for it, just a jerk. Hey, it hit it that time. All right, we got old 24-inch uh, barrel head down there. Let's see if I can hit it. Okay. So if you got a home invader hiding in your burn barrel, you got a chance of getting him with this <laughs> with this thing. I didn't get it. All right, let's see if we can get him to ejectal. Yeah, there they all come out. So a 24-inch diameter piece of sheet metal at 25 yards, I can hit it every time. So, you know, at three yards, you could probably pile them in there pretty good. I'm down to one target 
one paper target this afternoon and I've got a guy coming. I'm going to take care of his uh, criminal justice agency in service. <laughs> so I can't shoot my last paper target because <laughs> i got a policeman coming. All right, let's try six rounds on double action. See, oh man, that's a hard action. Hit it though. Okay. He hit it again. I can see it down there. That drum head's painted. You know, and when you hit it, it knocks the paint off of it. And, you know, it's kind of like a shoot and see. We keep them to teach people shotgun marksmanship, you know, and pattern shotguns on them, stuff like that. So we got them all, all over the place. I think that's six. That was definitely not six. I think that was six, maybe. There we go. Check some out there, good. This gun has recessed cylinder. <laughs> what that does is, is it makes it an excellent Russian roulette gun. Because when the cylinder is closed, you can't look in the gap between the cylinder and the battery face and see the ammunition. <laughs> so it'd make a really good <laughs> Russian roulette gun. Uh, the value of this gun is somewhere around 100 to $125. It's a cheap gun, you know, uh, company's out of business. You know, it's an economy priced or, you know, cheaply made cheap gun that works, okay? Um, most RGs that you see work, regardless. Uh, not aesthetically pleasing, not a real good design, but it does work. So uh, it makes the mark. Okay, it's worth about a hundred to one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Is what this gun, this type of gun, is worth. Uh, they also made a thirty-nine that was a little bit better in design and and. Uh, Aesthetic, but you know, wasn't any better for being a 238. Um, RGs, as a rule, they function. Uh, as a rule, they're serviceable as a, as a close range defensive firearm. Uh, this is, uh, is um, donated on loan to us from. Uh, Apache, ApacheArmament.com, um, and uh, you see this kind of stuff all the time. All right, then. Uh, <laughs> had a very interesting day today, and uh, had a lot of fun, and uh, had a lot of fun creating this con comment. It's so cold out here, I can't even talk. Words are frozen when they come out of your mouth, and you got to put them in a skillet to see what people are talking about. That's how cold it is. Um, Patreon link in the description. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Um, gun giveaway at a thousand subscribers, and at a thousand after that. Um, I really enjoy creating this content for you, and and I enjoy that you guys are watching it. So, uh, with all that having been said, I'm gonna go find me some place warm. Uh, we'll see y'all.